never had a huge interest in flowers until I started hiking in the Alpine. And then you see these guys and just you come across a meadow that is just blanketed with colors. It's like fireworks have gone off in the meadows. Whistler's Graham Sinclair is definitely a stop and smell the roses kind of guy. Only these love of his are alpine wildflowers that come to life every June atop Whistler and Blackhoe Mountain. I think it's just their weird shapes. They're the bizarreness of some of these flowers. We've got this one flower, this western pask flower. We also call it hippie on a stick. It's got these hairs that just fall over. What also makes these flowers so fascinating to Graham is their adaptability. Rooted 6,000 feet above the valley, it takes a special kind of flower to thrive in alpine conditions. It's just a heck of a lot harsher up here. One of the things that the flowers do is they grow these bigger than usual flowers, bigger than they do down below. And the reason for that is just to attract different pollinators in. Another thing they'll do is they'll stay closer to the ground. The reason for that being they want to stay out of the wind. So we got this beautiful little flower here, right? The bract lousewort. When he isn't busy discovering new flora and fauna, Graham works as lead tour guide of the Whistler Two Pinks Two Pass Tour. But this guy is pretty amazing. He's got this beautiful purple stem, and that is just built so that he can absorb as much sunlight as he possibly can. For two hours, Graham and the rest of the guides take visitors on a special journey, where along with Whistler's geological history, they learn the unique use and characteristics of these over three dozen flowers that call Whistler and Blackcomb Mountain home. We want to sensitize people to the environment that's in front of them. Be inspired by the beauty of nature and by what the nature can provide for us when we know where to look. Another thing that I think is fascinating about the flowers up here is just that this is nature's pharmacy. You know, we've got this one beautiful little flower called the mountain arnica. It can soothe your aches and pains. So this little guy here, this is called Sitka valerian. And the root from this flower, it's the source for the drug valerian. Valerian is used as an antispasmatic. It's great to look around and see just the wildness of nature and to understand some of the things that the natives did with the flowers in terms of healing and, and that kind of stuff and realize where you know medicines come from. They're uh, gorgeous. I love the variation in color. I love the Indian paintbrush. It's one of my favorites. With countless trails to admire the flowers and only until early September to do so before they die off, you can expect admirers like Graham will be logging quite a bit of mileage in the next month or so. Just don't expect these walks to be fast-paced. Like any beauty, you can't help but look at what's right in front of you.